Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty great day. I always feel good in the summertime. So, my question for the cards today is, can we trust the Americans? <laughs> now, okay, that is just a little bit clickbaity. But it is the first thing I thought of when a viewer requested that I take a look at Mike Johnson having appointed two mega insurrectionists to the Congressional Intelligence Committee. Because that is a real problem. Scott Perry is an insurrectionist who actually asked at one point in time for a presidential pardon. So he knows he's done some criming and his phone was seized by the Department of Justice for their investigation. Hasn't been given back yet, so they're still working on that. I believe he's also been named maybe in the Georgia case, if that ever sees the light of the trial. And then the other one is the White House doctor, physician. Ronnie Jackson is now a member of Congress, and he's the ex-Navy. He was an admiral, but he was demoted because he's a drunkard and abusive of his staff. And there is certainly allegations and suspicions that the White House was a flood with pharmaceuticals that wouldn't normally be prescribed to people, but it was trying to keep staffers being able to be motivated to continue working long and crazy hours off for insane projects, also known as speed. So really not too savory characters. And Mike Johnson has found fit to throw him, the two of them, into one of the most sensitive congressional committees that you could have because the United States of America, of course, is a member of that military alliance or intelligence alliance known as the Five Eyes community. It's Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. All these countries share their intelligence between each other. So somebody in the UK through their sources might pick up a bit of hustle that's going on in their networks that is going to have an impact on American troops or on the American soil and they pass it on to the American's intelligence groups. This of course information that gets passed on to the Congressional Committee. And I'd like to point out that it's not just military intelligence that is affected by this. This is, committee also has oversight over the FBI, the lead law enforcement agency in the U.S. federal government. The FBI deals with domestic terrorism. They deal with counterintelligence issues that affect Americans on a day-to-day -day basis and now these two are going to have access to the information that the FBI is using that is being brought up in uh, court cases if they ever see the light of day uh, against mega members and insurrectionists and this is just an appalling choice on the part of Mike Johnson. So my question, is the Five Eyes community going to be wondering if the Americans are trustworthy partners anymore or has the American intelligence community been corrupted by the politicians? Now, we already saw Donald Trump saying that he would prefer to follow Russian intelligence than U.S. intelligence organizations. And we have seen that the general disrespect that the Republicans have for intelligence 
and disrespect for their ally. So, you know, there's a whole lot of disrespect and going on here. But this could have crucial impact on America's national security because intelligent stuff, even if it isn't 100% true, having access to it and being able to read it and being able to disseminate it to the people who can read it, that can have an impact because you can glean information about methods and about sources. So now there's a whole bunch of people who lives are going to be at risk if these two yahoos, and I'm sorry, they are yahoos, now have access to this briefing. And I think there'll be a lot of sanitization of stuff before it's turned over to the Americans. And what's going to happen, I'm afraid, is that people are going to be pulling their information. They're going to be holding it back because they don't want to jeopardize their sources. And that information would be important for American intelligence to have national security for the United States and to save the lives of American assets, whether military assets or civilian assets, right, to keep people safe. And we know we know where the priorities are with the Republican Party, and it is not America. It's about Donald Trump. So, maybe it's not as clickbaity as it sounds. New deck for us today. We're using the Golden Black Cat Tarot. This is by Helena de Almeida. Just doing our standard Celtic cross. And this is my question. Are the Americans going to remain a trusted partner in Five Eyes Alliance? Or are Americans going to be kind of pushed to the edge? My first card here that we have in the signifier position, we have the Two of Cups. This is a card that's about alliances. It's about harmony and emotional balances and truce and agreements between people and information being shared, things being shared. It is a very cooperative um, kind of card. So really speaking of the situation, the United States has been a huge participant in and a contributor to and has received the benefits of being in these alliances. <clears throat> and this is being crossed by the Seven of Swords. And boy, is this being crossed because, of course, the Seven of Swords is card about theft and deception, dishonesty, you know, shenanigans, cunning, whatever you want to call it, trickery, secrets, secrets being kept from each other. This is not auspicious. In the past, we have the Eight of Wands, and it's in a reverse position. The Eight of Wands, when it's reversed, is about frustration. It's about waiting. It's about procrastination or, you know, everything moving at such a slow pace that it tries your patience. And this is what is creeping in. Certainly Trump taking boxes and boxes of classified information, which we don't know what the contents are, and that's fine because it's all classified information and shouldn't be in somebody's bathroom. Yeah, and of course the trial for that has been slowed down once again by Judge Cannon. More on that later, some other time. Yeah, so America is being hurt by these decisions in the past, and it is, it's the, the wound is getting infected. That's what I'm afraid of. In the future position, we have the Page of so Swords, and he's in a reverse position. All pages are messengers. We'll pull the page's message at the end of the reading, but when it's in a reverse position like it is here, it is more than likely to be bad news. And the Page of Swords in general is 
unproductive. It's about miscommunication. It's about lies that are taking place. This is not a good position for the future of American intelligence services. This tells me that people are starting to think about how they're going to work with the Americans. And in the sky, the reading list, the overarching goals, this is the objective. This is kind of the cover energy, if you will. King of Swords, reverse position. Again, not a good card. Cruelty and abuse power is what this card is about. And yes, what are these two guys going to do? There's Scott Berry and Ronnie Jackson. They're going to abuse their power. They are not there for America. They are there for themselves and for Mega and, of course, for Donald Trump. In the foundation of the reading, what's holding it up? What's It's like a foundation of a house, right? If the foundation isn't right, things are shaky from there on in. And we have the Hierophant, which is probably the best card I have pulled so far. Hierophant, this is your guardrails. This is the institutions of America standing up for America's interests. It's a law, it's tradition, it's, it's religion, it's authority, it's ethics, it's social norms, it's the things that have been busted wildly that don't actually break the law, but are very important into the governance. It's people knowing what is the right thing to do or having a sense of ethics and following it and teaching others to follow it. This is a great foundation because it's telling me that we still have some institutional strength in the system. Message from Spirit, not amused. It is the Knight of Cups in a reverse position. Knight of Cups, when it is reversed, is about heartbreak and it's about deception. And here we get, we've got this whole idea, you know, abuse of power in the sky. We have the cross by the Seven of Swords. This is definitely a theme of this reading. In the environment, we have the Two of Pentacles in a reverse position. This is a card about overextension and fluctuation. These two clowns have bit off more than they could. Mike Johnson, I was willing to give Mike Johnson the benefit of the doubt when he was first elected because sometimes people grow into their job, right? When they take on the enormous responsibility that goes with the job and they grow. Had great hopes that this might be Mike Johnson's story. It's not. He is trying desperately to hang on to his job. Keep hanging, baby, because you ain't going to be the Speaker of the House when the Republicans lose their majority in Congress. And I have no idea where that come from because I have not pulled the cards on the election yet. But that was just clairvoyance. Okay. Hopes and fears. The Knight of Swords in a reverse position. Knight of Swords, I love him to death, but when he's reversed, he's a pain in the keister, right? Because he's lazy and he doesn't take a lot of action and he's kind of a very restless mind and he doesn't have a great deal of focus. This may be the salvation of the situation, right? That, you know, there's a, just a natural level of ineptitude here with this organization. I think Perry has not seen the last of the legal issues that are going to come out of his pushing for insurrection. I think Jackson is, I hope he has found some kind of solution for his problems. But yeah, he's not striking me as the most stable thing in the world. And if people want, at some point in time, I will pull personality tarot on both of them. Just drop it in the comments. Final outcome, world in reverse. This situation is not good. The viewers 
who made the request, yeah, you're spot on. Your sense of intuition is telling you that there's going to be a lack of closure here, that it is incomplete, that, that we're going to be dealing with delays and unfinished business. This is going to be problematic, absolutely problematic for the United States and for the U.S. government. I am going to hang my hope on that foundation card, which is the Hierophant, because the Hierophant is very particular about maintaining strong ethical boundaries. And we had a page in this reading, and we had the Page of Swords in the future position, and the Page's message is the Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords, usually I hate to see that card, but when it's reversed, it's actually good news. It is about resistance. Back to that Hierophant. It has got the capacity to resist what is going on here. And it is the capacity to regenerate and just the perseverance of continuing on to maintain American security and the American way of life. Absolutely think that they're going to try. They're going to try to do as much damage to the U.S. as they possibly can because that is the mega agenda. Do not kid yourself. Listen to people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and that sort of stuff about how America is such a terrible country and how it's so evil and it's how it's this and it's that and it's something else. And all the rest of them. They hate America more than anything. And they're doing as much as they can to damage it. Take your election serious, America. I'm going to say, shadow card here. Again, the six of pentacles. In a reverse position. Well, that is not good news because this is a card about dependence and debt. These two, and I would say Mike Johnson, I would include in it, I mean, kind of an unholy trio, that they are indebted to someone. Well, Mike Johnson is clearly indebted to Donald Trump, right? And as far as the other two, probably the same issue. And I mean, not all debts are actually currency based. There can be a lot of debts that are about favors or status or whatnot. So to my wonderful viewer who passed the question in, yeah, you're, you're spot on the money. Trust that intuition of yours. It's not It's not problematic. But the good news is, is there's still good people in America. And they are still working to preserve America as we know it. And, you know, light and love to all of them because America needs its heroes, the unsung heroes, more than ever before. If you like this kind of content, by all means, feel free to drop a comment. Do you think I'm out to lunch? Do you think I'm hitting the money? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, it makes my day when I hear from readers. If you like this kind of community, we have a lovely little community here. If you'd like to subscribe, you can join it and share this with a friend who is like-minded. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.